Howdy, Possum Patty here, and I'm just journaling, so come on along. This is just one of the little golden book junk journals that I've started. I believe I started this one like a year ago and I've only finished one and I've already shown that one. I did a flip of this. I can put it below. And this was just a memory keeper because I had a lot of old Christmas cards and photos and I just put them all together. And this is made without the benefit of any, you know, like paper packs or kits or anything. This is just totally all book pages, junk, material, things that were stamped, more book pages. So there, uh, this is a book page. So there are no beautiful designer paper packs in this. This is wrapping paper back here with bits of material, photos, Christmas cards. And that's all. The whole book is just that. So you really do not need to buy anything special to make a journal. Well, I, I bought this book. That was one thing special. And then I just used old Christmas cards and photographs and book pages and just put the whole thing together like that. Of course, now I'm into buying pretty papers. But you really don't have to. You can make your own. You can use what you have. So I'm just going to look back at this for a few minutes to see what I've done so far, what needs to be done. And it looks like I covered the outside now. I should have not done that, right? I should have sewed in the signatures and then put that beautiful cover on there because now i got to cover it up with the stitches. Oh well. And it looks like I was going to make three signatures. And I already started the first page. And there's an old picture of my son making a snow something, snow bear, snow rabbit. And this is a picture from a card. And these are probably Dollar Tree stickers. And I added these little strips of... Uh, mailing envelopes, old mailing envelopes. This is made out of Tyvek because I found that these original little golden book pages um, wear very quickly when you sew them. They tend to fall apart. So just to strengthen them a little bit, I put this little Tyvek in the middle. Uh, if you don't have any old envelopes, you can certainly buy a pack of them like at Staples. This is from a painting I did of just some icicles on black. And this is just a silver ribbon there. That might be the Dollar Tree. And inside I did two shaker cards. And this is an old house we had in New Haven in the snow. And on this side is a picture of my sister in one of her old houses in the snow again. She's actually in the doorway right there. Very simple. I did some stitching. And another old house I had. This one has silver sequins in it. In the snow. And just some icicles hanging off the eave. So icicles, okay. So now I know why I put that there. Snow and icicles. This page is snow. This page is icicles. And this has a belly band. And this is another painting I had done. And this one is just a snowy night under that ribbon there. And let's see. Looks like I put some glitter on a card or an envelope. 
Oh, it's an envelope, and I turned it into a um, like a little pocket thing. And this is an old picture of me in a snowstorm in South Carolina. This was probably 1973, I want to say. Anyway, when we lived in South Carolina, they had the, you know, the 100-year snowstorm. They had 18 inches of snow. And that was, uh, yep, 1973. That was followed by a wicked ice storm. And where I lived, they did not even have plows for the roads. And my ex was in the Air Force, and they were using, like, land graders to clear the runways for the airplanes. Everything was shut down for days and days. And this is just a cover of a magazine. I liked it because of the snow. kind of goes with everything here. And it has a nice snow picture on the inside. And this is the cover of a workbook for Japanese school students. And this was gifted to me by a student I had probably oh, 30 years ago, maybe. And the original story is colors. And so yellow is an old scarf. There's some birds in a tree. So I put in a page from a bird book about birds that may be seen in the snow. And I can check off tufted titmouse cardinal, dark-eyed junco, white-breasted nuthatch, downy woodpecker, and little chickadee and the blue jay as birds that I see in my yard all the time. We have a chipping sparrow. I don't know if we have these sparrows. So this will be the center. And I can decorate these pages. White is out the window. Look at all the snow. Red is grandma's old sled. That's the Japanese workbook. Look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? Okay, this is just a magazine, so that'll get covered some stitching here which means there's a pocket and I made this faux handmade botanical paper I did this one specifically for the this winter journal and I put in those silver uh, sequins and the little uh, glitter that looks like uh, snowflakes and I used the um, dried ferns and some dried purple flowers and I made a blue background for that And that is just paper, thin paper back there. And so, uh, black are all the wild birds singing in the tree. So I use a black piece of, I don't think this is cardstock. It's, I think it's um, from a sketchbook that had black paper in it. I think, I think. I gotta go back and watch the old video. I want these very sweet illustrations from the original book. And I put in a cover from a hot cocoa mix. And a this is one of those folders that pictures come in, photos. Or maybe it was a diploma, something like that. So I did this one. Oh, here's some of that tie back to hold those pages. The other side of the black, the other side of the cocoa. Brown is the cocoa that warms my insides up, so that's why the cocoa mix is there. Blue are my slippers. Here she's this is the last signature. And I have another page from that Japanese workbook, Children on a Sled. Some more black paper so again this is no paper packs no fancy papers no kits no anything box of cookies I liked it because I had the penguin on ice skates and a little snow in the background and this is a Christmas card I put it in there because this is orange so I thought that went really well 
and this was actually hand cut by a friend and she did that craft where you hand cut the paper and you make all the little silhouettes and then she copied them for her Christmas cards. Very talented. And the inside of the card. I'll look at this one. So you get the effect of the whole thing there. It's more of that black paper. And there's that workbook. Kids on sleds. And I love this the little hug from the snowman. So I think I'm going to leave the original papers that I chose in here and put it together by sewing in the signatures and having it ready to work on. Uh, January starts in a couple weeks and I know I have tons of work to do in my other journals, but because this one's already started, I'd just like to get it together and have it ready to work in. I just sewed the three signatures in. I decided to use this light blue, oh, kitty's after it, embroidery floss. I did four stitches for the three signatures. So now my journal is all put together, ready to be used. I need to put these things back in because I take these out when I do the sewing in part. If I already have some pages put together, I need to take out the little ephemera journaling cards and things like that. So okay, this was in a pocket somewhere. These were in this pocket, right? Yeah. Two go in this pocket right here. And I thought since I had the journal out and we are only two days away from the winter solstice, which is on Tuesday, I would just do one of the winter pages. So I looked around for some old photos and somewhere here, here they are, cat on my lap, I gotta stand up. This is from 1973 behind my mother's house. Little cat named Peanuts sitting on a stone wall, a little bit of snow. And I think this was taken the same day. Check out the orange bell bottoms and the camel colored pea coat there. So I remember that there was a page that said orange back here. So I thought this would be a perfect place to put me in my orange bell bottoms. On the page. Mm, like that. Try not to cover me up, but put them both on the same page right across from orange. And I'd like to put a background on this paper, I think. Okay, there is really nothing in my Christmas paper packs that will go with orange. So I figured I would go back to the fall, because we know orange is a fall color. And not pumpkins, but I thought something like that. Not leaves, we don't want to do leaves. But maybe this, because if you look at the picture, there are all these little seed pods poking up through the snow. So maybe something like that. Or I could do something like that. That matches my coat in the picture, right? That might look okay. Hmm. Got this linen color, off white linen. Not too flashy for a whole page. That green. No, I don't want to do green. Oh, this is green and orange, though. Green and orange. Houndstooth check. 
Well, that might be fun. I kind of like the flowers, but I'm such a flower person. Always love the botanicals. This is a nice soft peachy color. Ooh, that looks nice with that. Hmm. This may be it. Let's see. Oh, this page has a border on it. Maybe that one. No, we don't want to do pumpkins. Probably not flowers. Make a choice, make a choice. This is such a soft color and it goes really nicely with the orange in the sky there. And I think I'm going to use this. All right, perfect, perfect. Okay, I'm just going to go and cut this down to fit this size right there. Okay, I glued that really pretty paper down. You know, when I took this thread out to do the spine, this orange thread fell out of the bag. I just found it on the desk while I was getting ready to do this page. Does that mean this wants to get into the journal? Just so happens I'm doing the orange page. I don't know what I can do with it. I could make a crocheted edge. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is 72. 1972. January. January 1972. Alright, let me think about this. Okay, I punched some holes in the paper and they are about a half an inch apart. And I am just going to, I'm not going to make you watch this, but let's see, I got three there. And then I am not your crochet instructor. I'm going to do three chain. And then I'm going to do three over here. Oh, what happened? Oh, that's the chain. The chain's in the way. Okay. Let's get it right. Okay. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to do three stitches and then a chain and then three stitches. And then I'm going to come back around and do a couple more rows and just make a nice festive edge. I just did some chain stitching and then I don't know what this is. It's like a triple kind of stitch. And then I got almost to the bottom and I ran out of this dark orange thread. And so I went in the drawer to find some more, and of course I had some more, but then I found a little bit of this really pretty like orange sherbet color. And I said, oh, I'm gonna make an edge. So then I went back up the row, made a little edge on here. So now it's like a two-tone orange. I think it looks very 70s, because in the 70s we used to make little crocheted vests and granny squares and things like that. So of course, I was pleased with that. Then I had these threads at the top and I was like, ah, oh, 
I gotta put a dangle on there, of course, right? So I have these orange enamels, and I thought, well, that's perfect. And I just added an orange bead. And then I thought, well, 70s, we need a flower, right? So I put on a flower. Even though this is the winter journal, I know, but that's okay, that's okay. So there is my page. I didn't mean to spend so long crocheting, but I was just sitting here relaxing and having some fun with it. It's not the best crocheting in the world. Of course, I'm not using crochet thread either. I was using this embroidery thread, which is not what you're supposed to be using, but that's okay also. Use what you have. Use what you have. So I've got a page done. Looks like my picture needs a little bit more glue. It's coming up already. But there she is, the beginning of my winter journal. And winter starts in a couple of days. So I just want to thank you for coming along today. And happy winter journaling. Bye-bye now.